Hello boys, welcome back. On War the Chosen. We've got loads of people on Haven Advisory. And we're continuing to focus our efforts, intel gathering wise, on Western Europe and New Australia. Did we actually do the hinder advent operations in Western Europe? I think it might be busy infiltrating, but I'm going to keep it on intel because there's a lot of su um, supply raids coming through there. Obviously, West Africa is still the main target for for the enemy. So I want to keep intel here as much as I can. Intel 10, recruit 2. And I've put one of our best troops here in West Africa because I'm expecting the invasion uh, of West Africa pretty soon. Setting course for South Africa. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Excellent. Wow, we're short on alloys. That's surprising. Uh, possible to create a new powered armor suit capable of generating a defensive force field. Not like those. Battle suits, shadow armor. Gatekeepers give us alloys and delirium cores. How many of those do we actually have in storage? Just one. Uh, the gatekeeper, I think, only only helps you build a alien psi amp, so I don't particularly need it. I will make that our highest priority. Uh, 20, 102, I need 5 more intel. 70% infiltrated, must launch a robot. This hinders advent operations. I think I should probably boost this. Three, four, five, six of us. Shield bearer, first sergeant, longbow. This would come out. Yeah, no reason not to. That's better. Sidewinder, shield bearer, longbow. Mute lance, ever hunter drone. Officers and priests are going to shoot back. I'm pretty sure this is going to reveal the radio tower mission. Although if I look at my barracks, we're not too far away from being able to send a decent squad to go take out the new Arctic facility. And if by some miracle we get through that without any injuries and everybody's will is still intact we can just send them straight into the eastern u.s facility as well that takes nine pips off the doom counter so then doom counter isn't a concern for the foreseeable future i would of course need to keep getting uh, facility leads because advent rebuilds facilities oh, and there's already a guerrilla ops kind of to reduce avatar project so that's if an extra minus two. No one knows about it yet. It shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Fifteen Position enemies to kill. I feel like these missions are pretty straightforward. You just gotta run forward and smash. Kill everything as quickly as possible. On a en ligne de mire. Tell you, thank goodness for that um, resistance order with plus two turns for missions. It's really useful. This is my city. I mean, this would start as four turns right from the beginning, which is quite difficult to deal with. Go, go, go! There's not going to be any mucking about with trying to get them to walk into us for a beagle rush. We're just going to smash them straight away. On this first pod, we'll of course try to keep Dancer in stealth.
40% crit chance, 0% crit chance. Ooh, double tap. Second action. I just want to see whether I can shoot again before they scamper. I don't think so. I just want confirmation. Yep, as expected, they get to scamper. That's totally fair enough. I'm actually going to have to use run a gun. Annoying. Absolutely. Get him. Jesus, it took it. What a beast. Only the best. Uh, no reason to move. Walk fire lets me keep run and gun up on my assault trooper. That's how it's done. No, that is how we will do it. God, French is beautiful. Yes, sir. Contact. Well, shit. That's awkward. Gotcha. Moving. Feels awkward. Was hoping these two would have bathed first. Now this Lancer hopefully goes for the Shinobi. Good. There was a fair chance that the Shinobi actually would have been uh, that these lads were close enough that the uh, lad could have actually zapped us. We've got 13 remaining, 4 active. There's still 9 more after this. This vanguard, does he shoot when I get close? He does. So this double shot does 8 to 13 times 2. Is it going to be enough for the first sergeant? I doubt it. But I can take a third shot if I don't finish him off. And with the extra crit chance actually got a decent chance that I can kill him. I need to recalculate how lightning reflexes works. I know it's not guaranteed most, it's a percentage chance, but then 85. I must go look at Tort's comment again. That's really, yeah, you because. Know, fucking annoying. <laughs> Fire is the best thing for the vanguard here. In fact, if I had thought more carefully, I could have done this first. This might burn a little. So if he burns now, then he shouldn't have his close combat specialist. But he is not burning. So 12 to 60. I still need 20 points of damage there. Uh, hail of bullets is probably what I'm going to need. The Vanguard didn't get set on fire. No. Now, 
11. Absolutely. Another walk fire will hopefully take care of that vanguard. Five hit points. No need to move there. Just be very careful running across here. It's fine. Zible eliminé. Zible eliminé. Will I get to kill aliens over there? That is tempting, but it's unnecessary, and it's the end of the turn. We heard it. Oh, what about the Lancer? Fail. Late Storm? Missed. Been forgetting a lot about uh, units. In the last episode, forgot about the Half Queen. Now just shut up, forgot about the Lancer. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And Amadas is wounded unnecessarily. God, I'm bad at this game. Crit could kill here. Is it worth a try? Nope, just a graze. I mean, it's a decent chance for a, like, essentially free skull mine, but he's, an, he's easy to kill this turn. Need another 14. Uh, I can give him both barrels. Not a problem. But we'll see if the regular shot kills him. Damn. Um, was that another graze? What's his fucking dodge chance? 15. Just a little bit more. Dima is one square away from being able to just stab him. Like, this is 70%. This is definitely not a guaranteed hit. If that fails, what's my play? Well, I suppose I just have to hope that I can hit him with the Blade Storm. moving made it less likely to hit him now. He had uh, steady hands, and I've moved him closer than he was. I need to pull my head out of my arse here, because this is now becoming a little concerning. The command is technically a safer bet, but she's out of ammo. And doesn't have a free reload. <laughs> the wheel does not even come off now. Can't command the shinobi. I have to now, I actually now have to take the seventy percent goal mine. You don't seem so tough now. Nice one. Let's rock on Overwatch. Could you please just give me a minute? It sucks that Joker is ruptured and he lost all of his ablative armor, but on the plus side, he does have uh, that damage mitigation ability. Impact compensation. You're safe. I've got you. So that was frustrating. It took way too long. Will I get to kill aliens over there? And uh, now I need a turn. To, to move forward and overwatch. Like going here is where I want to go, but it's just far too risky. It could quite easily uh, aggro. Copy that. Let's rock. Sure thing. Heading out. 
Just gotta be so careful now of line of sight. There could easily be more enemies in this room. Moving to Overwatch. Now, our operation is small. Give me a call when you want to start taking things a little more seriously. At least we can move up, move up on the next turn, but now I'm really under time pressure. Advance, have you used your combat drugs? Not yet. Very good. Tout de suite. There's a fairly good chance that she can just combat drugs and then slash. These weird little two enemy pods. Annoying. Let's not forget to do that. Slash into high cover, good move. Nice big crit as well. Uh, I think I want to grab this drone. It's almost certainly going to kick the hornet's nest, but that's fine. We're under a lot of time pressure. Fifty-six. Fuck. Uh, I've got Trojan and I've got Failsafe, so that is actually... I was just checking that I actually do have Failsafe and Trojan. If this doesn't work, I'm using my gun. If you won't be able to, your turn will be over. Last one. That doesn't aggro the rest of the map. Super interesting. That tells me that this move is shouldn't reveal anything, and that buys me a lot of proximity to the network tower. That's super important. Now these lads on the right flank can start blue moving and killing nodes. Sidewinder, shield bearer, sentinel. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's the majority of the enemies left on the map. There was a Naga there, though. <clears throat> oh, one square off being a flank. But a run and gun here into a slug shot. Decent option, I think. That's not bad. 62 plus an 82. Uh, and then Madasa. Take a flanking double double tap. You don't turn that down. I mean, sure, focus fire would be nice. It's above seventy percent. Got to take it. I feel like. Damn it! Nice one, Madossa. Miss the target. No, what? Oh. <laughs> Azimi doesn't have Reaper, which is surprising. There's two more enemies left. I'm not that concerned about it. I probably should be. Shield bearer. Sidewinder is actually pretty scary. Can I slash the sidewinder? Can. That puts me in exposed position. A slash onto the sentinel puts me in high cover. I need a solution for that Naga. The nuke. I uh, should just kill the mech, I reckon. 
What's the hunter drone gonna do? The hunter drone can flank the Naga elite, so I don't have to worry about it. That doesn't really help me. I think I can kill the Naga elite with a 62 and an 82. Or we move the drone in, trying to cause as many flanks as possible that Levin can then turn into Overwatch shots. We can't Overwatch the Sidewinder Elite. Let's use its Overwatch here and then try to stun it. Okay, at least we know what the last two are. Heavy Grenadier is a yikes. Klima unfortunately can't see the super heavy. Adasa already used her turn, so she can't use incoming. Yet. I need to leave cyclic fire up for the super heavy. I need to do 16 points of damage here. She's not assured there at all. But 71 could quite well miss. I've got Phosphorus here. So Jackson just needs to get in as close as he can and just see what he can do. I can give Levin another shot. I don't know how much that actually does for me. I can't see the mech from here. That doesn't really help. That just gets me potentially flanked and shot on the next turn. I need to get up close. At least here I'm covered line of sight wise. So let's give Levin the extra shot. Beautiful. That's right. Could be a little bit tricky now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Where I can see Levin. Honestly, just just get as far across left as possible. On my way. He'll still have the mobility on next turn, so next turn he can potentially move forward and flamethrower. No retreat. This lets Levin shoot and then Overwatch, or shoot twice. Destroyed her own cover, turning it into... Okay, no, that's fine. How does that help Klima? 81% here is still an issue. And that's a devastating mess. God damn it, Klima. Don't adjust your fucking side. Hit the shot! Uh. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. It's only a twenty percent chance to roll fourteen. Oh, God. Overwatching doesn't really help. Uh, have I, I've got. Okay, so covering fire now becomes the better option. Because at least I can apply the aim malice. Heath Ledger can run and gun and double shoot. But that way he's just, if I run him here, he's just going to eat a direct fire shot from the super heavy. 5 to 10 damage. Ugh, he's ruptured, he's only got one armor. Run here to high cover and try slug shot that mech. Just 
can't get up here for the stun on the heavy grenadier. That heavy grenadier is gonna throw acid, which really sucks. Shouldn't have moved in there. Now the grenadier is gonna acid the two of them. They're in acid range. No, that's a solid wall. Whew. Okay. If I thought of this first, that then would have lowered the hit points on the mech, which would have allowed Executioner to be used by 11, which would have made that more likely to hit. Just this cascading cups all the time. I need to go to where I'm in high cover. No good. We don't have whirlwind, so I can't move off the wood. Slashing the mech at least puts me in half cover. Slashing this mech gets me shot in the face. And here leaves me out in the open. I think this is my best bet. Doesn't feel great. I've got shadow steps, so the overwatch at least won't proc. Whoopsie. That's nice. Let's hope the drone can absorb more shots. Just shoot at the drone, please. Just shoot the drone. Oh, good, stupid, super heavy. No, the heavy gonna dare. If you can just finish off the drone and that's the end of all of the enemy shots, that'll be amazing. Hunter drone MVP. More hostiles inbound. Please, God, tell me I can see the mech. I can't. Fuck. Clemo is my best chance of hitting the mech. I might have to try to hack it to shut it down. I can't get eyes on the mech anywhere with Madasa. This is problem. I gotta start you by slashing the shield bearer, I think. Beautiful. I actually should have put her the other side of the shield bearer to put her within four four tiles of the super heavy. For the extra dodge against the super heavy. Oh, there's so many small mistakes I'm making. One, two, three, four, fuck's sake. I've got a double shot here. Or a zap. Moving forward and rupturing the super heavy. Let's fucking do. I can't even see the bloody thing. It's not going to be easy to hit it. I'll have three 70% shots on it, I think. can maybe shoot it with Jackson to shredder it, shredder it a little bit. 81. Phosphorus can at least burn it. Do a bit of damage and guaranteed strip armor. That's too inaccurate. Now, our Joker can't small. really do much this turn. Forty percent chance could be useful, or I could just put him next to the grenadier. So when the grenadier, grenadier moves, I can take a sh reaction shot at him. Laser sight suppressor, elite hair trigger, and close proximity. 
it's pretty guaranteed. Not guaranteed, it was a pretty damn good chance to kill that Grenadier. Which still leaves the Sidewinder Elite with 4 to 9 damage. So it's 3 to 8. Rupture is 4 to 9. Can't shut the super heavy down. Can't see it, so I can't cast focus fire. So my best bet is to command nuke, so she can use cyclic fire at seventy percent chance. Fortunately, Levin can't get to a position where she can see the mech. So I want to apply rupture to the mech. So she's just gonna have to overwatch, it's a real pity. I'm on it. Uh, bit of fire, 81% it's worth the try. Minimal damage. Bit of shred. Two out of three hits, I think we have a chance. Here's the first miss. Whoa. Got him. Sorry, Heath Ledger, you're gonna have to eat the shot from that sidewinder. Maybe Levin can just overwatch kill here but that mech's not going to move it's just going to overwatch oh that's his instincts ouch Vampirism. Badass. Oof, Jesus. This actually isn't that straightforward. 72, 85 on the stun might be the play. This little snake is proving to be a pain in the nose. I've got a hell of bullets. On it. Woo! Hostile pacified. Scary. You see a guy like me. It's a pity that Joker is going to be out for ages. Badly injured. But I think that's the only wound we've taken. Could have been worse. Hate to cash, awesome. I'm loving this intel. I suppose I do owe you that much. Reloaded. Come get some. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. And you know, as far as intel is concerned, we only have to make contact with two more countries, and after that, intel is only going to be used for boosting missions. This is my city. We can pretty well get to a, a situation where, in these final missions, we have the luxury of boosting pretty much every mission. Moving out. Absolutely. Heading out. That super heavy was so tough to deal with. 
This shows you when, when you can't hit it with the hollow targeting VPT focus fire combo. Can be a bit of a pain. Two wounded. Who was the other one who got wounded? Oh, my God, sir. Damn. Other thing on my to-do list is at the end of the month to just pay attention to what the cost is at the black market to buy all three of the task sergeants there. Plus the scientist, plus all the alloys in Illyrium, plus a few weapon mods. Because I think that's probably like 750 supplies a month. Because gathering more supplies than that isn't really necessary. I'm, at a certain point, I'm going to be better off switching most of the countries onto full intel. Just for the, for the passive intel gain and for the higher chance of detecting dark events and uh, facility leads and obviously liberation missions. days damn two points of base damage additional point of crit damage that's tempting arc throw attack that jump from target to target to four times each target is within six tiles of each other um does each does each one guaranteed hit or does it calculate hit chance because if it calculates hit chance, it's not great. If it guarantees hits, that's amazing. Within six tiles, that's huge. You could potentially stun four targets. Street sweeper, medium range, cone based, spread pattern blocked by heavy cover fire. One action and two every five turns. Three bonus damage, unarmored targets. Allies can be injured. I'm kind of tempted to just go with lethal, just because single target, just ruin a single target. Which is the one that gives extra damage on people you can see. Here we go, bring them on. One damage on crits. Lethal. Because bring them on could do more than, than lethal. Trench gun. Also, if you're going to go for Chain Lightning, you want Arc Pulsar, which we don't have. We already have Trench Gun, so Street Sweeper feels a little... Obviously, not redundant, but it's, a, it's an improved, improved version of Trench Gun. But I just love the extra damage. Defense, Hit Perception, Data Cache, excellent. Intel, excellent. That gets us New Indonesia. Awesome. Levin and Jackson have reached level 3. It's going to be a hard one. Strength 5 soon. Uh, am I making contact instantly? I think I am. Yes. We need to build, and I'm just looking at the mental strength here. But actually, they recover really quite slowly. I need another battle scanner, although, no, I don't, because there is one battle scanner left over. There you go. Eight health, two armor. Awesome. Compared to three health. Wow, it's plus five health. That's incredible. Although each one will cost an Illyrium core. It doesn't. It's awesome. Okay. It changes everything. Let's go straight to the black market and buy whatever alloys are in there. Avenger plotting new cores. Righto, so 107 intel and we can get new india and then we would have made contact with everybody oh i already bought the alloys i see 
Okay, that's doable. We're doing that. 100%. Six days. Moving forces. Crystal smoke. Uh, I want Griffin. I do want a Shinobi of some sort. Who's this? This is Marquez. He's got Barge, though. Like Borderline, I want to fire him, garbage. And this is going to delay sending out the lads to the facility. Arnie, what have you got as your PCS? Honestly, I might just change out Dev Perception for Improved Will because, like, his will is so low. It's legitimately a problem. I mean, Dev Perception is amazing. More for the dodge mitigation than for the aim. He doesn't need the plus five aim very much. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. There we go. That's better. That's better. Does anybody else want to do that too right now? Yeah, look at that Stobby. 33. That is terrible. This is something I didn't think about this, came out, uh, this campaign. I really should have thought about the will. I mean, I've given myself combat to rush because uh, Hail of Bullets is such a great, reliable way of procking it. But maybe like a better con uh, a better person to put it on would have been Mad Doc because look he's got forty will is a bit better. Who are we gonna send? Three days. I'm looking at the specialists. Four days, eleven days, three days. Twenty three hours. We could maybe send Bloody Peasant. Which mission is he on? The network tower. We could just smash it now like this. Or boost infiltration. It's pay for itself, intel-wise. Okay, at the start of the next episode, we will do this network tower. We'll make sure that Monty Python doesn't get injured, and then he will be the specialist going on that uh, supply raid mission. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for your daily dose of Long War of the Chosen.